Hey, my name is Nina Freeman. I'm a teacher's assistant at Jefferson Elementary in the special ed department where I work with children in the EMD cross-categorical classroom. Through data that has been collected from these students and the other students in this department, including the preschool developmental delay classroom, these students are not meeting their goals and some of their behaviors have changed. The parents of these children have also noticed the change in their children at home. There is a concern about the child not meeting their goals and their difference in behavior. It is not expected for these students to reach every one of their goals by the end of the year, but there is little progress that is being made. Data has been collected on each child in these classrooms. This data is collected based on each child's individual educational plan and recorded two days out of the week. The data that is collected helps monitor the child's progress and behavior. Their needs are all different. Some children may need more help with fine motor skills and some children are ready for academic instruction such as learning their letters and numbers or up to learning addition and subtraction. There is also behavior sheets prepared for each student depending on their behaviors and how they are alleviated. The data that was compiled after the second nine weeks shows that these children were making some progress in their goals. Also, the behavioral techniques that were discussed through meetings with staff and parents were working. The data collected for the end of the fourth nine week shows that these children have regressed. There has also been a significant turnaround with teachers and assistants in these classrooms. I am unsure as to why these teachers seek other employment, but as an assistant, I feel that there is a need for training before assistants and substitutes are placed within these classrooms. Assistants and substitutes do not feel that they are equipped for these positions and they are not comfortable handling the duties that come along with the position. There is no longer a certified teacher in these classrooms and assistants and substitutes are responsible for helping these children with their goals and collecting data. These assistants and substitutes are doing an amazing job with these students, but they are not trained on how to assist these students with their academic needs and behavior. For these children to be able to thrive, their teachers need to be prepared for the positions. They do not need to be placed in a classroom where their staff is expected just to know what to do. Children with special needs need someone that can address their academic needs and someone that is prepared to attend to their emotional needs as well. I feel that these students not having a certified teacher and their assistants and substitutes not being properly trained, this is why they have regressed over their school year. In order to address these issues, to meet the needs of these students, strengthen the learning environment, and attack system change, the staff at Jefferson Elementary School that are involved with these students need to be properly trained. Parents also need to be notified that there is no longer a certified teacher in the classroom. This can help explain some of the different behaviors that are taking place at home. Parents should also be invited to be involved in the classroom whenever they can. This will allow them to see their children's behaviors in the academic setting. This can also give a chance for staff involved to build a positive relationship with parents. Even if the staff is not certified, the parents may be feel more comfortable with meeting who is working with their child. These students thrive from consistency, and they need consistent staff on their side that can help them. For this to happen, there needs to be a training session for staff before they enter the classroom. The training needs to consist of how to properly collect data based on the student's goals. There also needs to be a training on how to deal with different behaviors that these students may have. These behaviors can be triggered by sensory seeking students that are not getting what they need. They can be triggered due to different staff being out of the classroom and then also not being able to thrive because their routines are broken. Staff needs to know about these behaviors and how they can help. It would also be a good idea for staff to be CPI certified. This way, in the need for a child to be restrained, it will be done properly so that the child and staff are kept safe. Along with the training, the staff should be aware of how these students go about their day. They need to know their daily routine so these students do not experience so much change. With consistency being key, it would also benefit the children to have the same staff members working with them daily. I know that there is a shortage of assistants and staff, but the same staff members should stay in these classrooms. With the trainings in place, these students can thrive. This will help meet their goals, strengthen their learning environment, and attack system change. To help these children to reach their goals, training will have to be provided to suit the candidates for the job. 
During the hiring process, there should be requirements added to the application. The requirements should be these training courses that will help prepare staff to enter the classroom working with children with special needs. There should also be a series of video assignments completed. The videos can include information about behaviors the staff is expected to experience in the classroom and how they should handle them. After each video, there should be a question to answer or questions to answer on how the candidate would handle each situation. A staff member may never know how they will react in certain situations, but if they are informed about them first, the reaction can be different. Once the applications are received, the district can set up training courses at Jefferson Elementary. The training courses can be given by the principal and district leaders that are involved with the special ed department. After interviews are conducted and the school staff has narrowed down their candidates, the video assignments and trainings can begin. Their responses will be considered and the staff selection to be narrowed down even more. After this process, the staff at Jefferson Elementary should be able to decide who is the best fit for these classrooms. When their candidates are hired, they can be given a month's trial. This month can help the staff members know for sure if this is the career path that is really for them. These positions are not just positions that anyone can handle. The staff must have patience and love for the job and also love for the students. If staff involved with these children are properly trained, these students can be a part of a learning environment that suits their needs and they will be able to reach their academic goals. Members of the school board, I hope you will take my proposal into consideration. My main goal is to help these children in the special ed to be successful and with your help and with the proper training of staff, these children can thrive. Thank you.